Since 2008, the TCU Library has offered building access to students 24 hours a day, five days a week, during the traditional academic year. We're getting new turnstiles with the new renovation to bring back turnstiles that we've had for a number of years, and it provides the same level of security that we've had in place for TCU students for some time now. Before its most recent renovations, the library acquired a TCU ID card to use the turnstiles at the entrance to gain admission. With no turnstiles, that means Horn Frogs get 100% access to the Mary Couts Library. But that also gives everyone access to the Mary Couts Library. The only entrance is located at the facade of the library, facing University Drive. With turnstiles yet to be installed, some students feel like they can study efficiently, but not safely. Um, I think it's a security issue because, I mean, to me, I feel like it's kind of scary at nighttime and stuff without, like, you knowing that only like TCU students are in the library at this time and like even during the day like it could be a threat too so you never know. According to the TCU Library Administration, the turnstiles will be installed at the end of this month. But how well do they restrict the non-TCU students and faculty from gaining access to the library? Just three years ago, TCU police took two male stowaways into custody after they jumped over the turnstiles at the old entrance to the TCU library. Since the start of the library's renovations in December 2013, the front desk staff has continued to monitor those entering the building. Yeah, I mean, after you asked the question, um, that was the moment I realized that, yeah, that I'm the first person to actually defy, I mean, everyone here for security purpose, but I, mean, I never got a chance to think about it until now, until this moment. Tyler Christensen. TCU News Now.